find a nice, comfortable place to sit or make yourself all cosy in your bed and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, then slowly and gently let the breath out. Again, deep breath in, then slowly and gently let the breath out. One more time, deep breath in, and slowly and gently let the breath out and just relax. Now imagine you're surrounded by a beautiful white light. A beautiful, really, really lovely white light. A light so bright but it doesn't hurt to look at it. A light that will protect you and bring you peace. Breathe in this white light and feel it as it enters your body completely, making you feel all warm and safe. Now imagine yourself sitting on the end of a pier with your legs dangling over the edge and your feet are gently moving backwards and forwards in the calm, cool water. Breathe in the fresh ocean air. You feel so peaceful here, so calm, so relaxed and the sun is high in the sky with just a few small fluffy clouds drifting on by. And there are a few birds flying overhead and you can hear them as they sing to each other and it makes you smile with happiness. As you sit there in the sunshine, you see something moving in the water below and you wonder what it is. Suddenly, the head of a dolphin pops up from beneath the water and gently swims past you. Oh my, a dolphin so close to you. The dolphin comes even closer, close to your feet, and you reach out your hand to stroke his skin. It feels all sleek and smooth, but also a bit rubbery. It really feels quite nice. The dolphin is a blue-grey colour, but not as blue as the beautiful water he's swimming in. You find that you can hear the dolphin's thoughts, and he's asking you if you would like to come for a ride with him. Well, of course you say yes. You slip into the lovely cool water beside this beautiful and gentle creature and you look into his amazing eyes. What do you see when you look into his eyes? Do you see the loving kindness there? I know I do. You grab hold of the dolphin's fin and slowly at first, the dolphin begins to move. He makes sure though, that you have tight hold of him. You can feel the water moving past you as you ride with the dolphin. But as he picks up speed, the water begins to splash all over you. And you find this exhilarating. The dolphin moves faster and faster and you start to laugh out loud. Oh, this is so much fun. You whiz past other sea life. You can see little fish under the water as you speed past. Then suddenly, the dolphin gives one big jump and you feel yourself in the air and out of the water. 
the dolphin jumped really high up and the two of you come down again with a great big splash. The dolphin dives deep underwater and you with him. To your amazement, you find you can breathe under the water and you can still hear the dolphin's thoughts. You hear him as he tells you not to worry because he is taking you for a swim deep below the surface. He is taking you somewhere that no one has ever been before. But first, he wants you to just have fun with him, swimming deep under the water. So for a few moments, just swim with the dolphin and look around his beautiful underwater world. dolphin now takes you deeper and deeper into the beautiful blue water. You can see many fish, all different kinds and all different colours. You swim down to the seabed and see lots and lots of colourful coral. Again there are many different shapes and sizes and the colours absolutely amazing purples yellows blues even a shiny silvery looking one you're not even sure if it is coral the dolphin swims quickly forward and you find yourself in front of a huge marble archway with beautiful lights on either side of it and they glitter and they twinkle in this deep underwater world. As you look through the archway, you see a beautiful young mermaid waiting for you. And beyond her, a huge marble city with shining bright lights everywhere. The young mermaid 
tells you that her name is Selina and that she is now to be your guide. She tells you that the Mermaid Queen has requested it. She tells you that it is the Queen's magical powers that enable you to breathe underwater. You see, they were expecting you today. They knew you were coming to see them. The dolphin waits patiently for you as you swim off with the young mermaid. She is taking you to visit this vast underwater kingdom with all its twinkling lights. The city has many tall buildings and all of them are made from marble. It is so beautiful here. You can see many mermaids and mermen swimming around going about their business. You can see their children at play. Some of them are playing football. And you think it looks ever so funny because they don't have legs, so they're hitting the ball with their tails. Some of them are playing hide and seek. One or two of them are hiding behind trees and bushes, thinking that they can't be seen. But their huge tails are sticking out, giving away their hiding places. The young mermaid swims off towards a wonderfully lit building covered completely with beautiful coral in so many different colours. So many that it looks just like a shimmering rainbow. She tells you that this is the school for all the children here. That's why it's so colourful. And she tells you that she's going to take you to meet the head of this magical underwater school. So you and she swim through the open doors and down a very long, brightly lit hallway. And when she stops, you find that you are in a large room with a big desk at the far end of it. And sitting at that desk is another mermaid. Only this one is older and looks to be a lot, lot wiser. She is wearing small black spectacles on the end of her nose and has very bright green hair floating all around her head. She looks up and gives you a great big smile. And you think she looks really lovely. She asks you what your name is and you tell her. And you ask her what her name is. She tells you her name is Miss Salty. You think that this is a very odd name, but you smile anyway. Miss Salty adjusts her spectacles and says that she can see the potential in you. And she asks you if you would like to join her school and learn the underwater ways. Miss Salty tells you that this is a very special school. It is a magical school and all of the little mermaids and mermen must learn this magic so that they can be of service to their community and to be able to help all mere people. Miss Salty stops at one of the classes to show you what they are teaching. It's a magical science class. There are a couple of naughty little mermen in this class and they are being very disruptive to others who are trying to learn. The teacher, a rather dowdy merman, says, I have warned you both twice now and you are still not behaving. The dowdy teacher then waves his wand and turns them into, oh dear, two big fat water slugs with great big googly eyes and two big wobbly antennae coming out from the top of their head, making them look very dozy indeed. You give a little laugh and then stop. As you swim away from the classroom, Miss Salty and Selina, they show you all of the other things that they have for the students here. 
They show you that they have a magical arena where they do sports and lots and lots of magical activities. It's a vast open place with large turrets and you can see lots of mermaids and mermen sitting in seats all around the arena watching all of the activities of their children. Some of them are cheering them on and shouting support to them. Miss Salty says that you can join in if you want to and have some fun for a while. So you do. For a few moments, just enjoying yourself. Meet some new friends. Learn something new in this wonderful, magical, underwater world. Now it's time for you to return to the large marble arches where the dolphin is still waiting for you. But before you go, because you've been so good, Miss Salty gives you a fancy silver sparkling wand with your name engraved on it to bring back with you. How wonderful. She tells you that next time you come for a visit, this wand will allow you to breathe underwater. And all you have to do is tap it on your head three times and whisper, Miss Salty, Miss Salty, Miss Salty. And then you'll be able to breathe underwater just like them. Selena then guides you back to the marble arches where the dolphin is waiting for you. You thank her and wave goodbye and she smiles. She swims off back towards the beautiful underwater city and disappears. The lovely dolphin asks you if you've had a good time. He smiles at you and tells you to hold on to his fin so he can take you back home. It's a long trip home, 
So you decide to have a little lie down on his back and have a little sleep. Just a few minutes, of course. And as you do, you drift off into the most amazing sleep, feeling ever so happy and so peaceful, dreaming all about the things you've seen and done. And the really best bit about this day is that when you wake up, you will be back in your own bed. But there'll always be many, many more places for you to visit in this beautiful underwater world. Now I want you to see yourself on your own private island. A place where only you can go. It's just for you. This is your island. Your private place. A peaceful and very happy place. Just for you. This island is surrounded by the deepest, bluest ocean you have ever seen. And you can see the beach that surrounds your island. And the sand is gloriously soft and white. And you can feel its warmth on your bare feet. Can you feel it? Can you feel it squiggle beneath your toes? Wriggle your feet in the sand. You can hear the gentle waves lapping on the shore and you can smell the salty air of the sea. Can you smell it? Can you smell that salty sea air? What does it smell like? And in the distance, you can hear the song of the birds. Can you identify which birds they are? around you. What can you see? The sun is shining high in the sky and there is a gentle breeze blowing on your face and you lift your head towards the sun and you realize you can look at it without hurting your eyes. And you can feel its warmth against your skin. Now you turn your attention to the beautiful deep blue ocean. You watch the sparkles from the sunlight bounce on the surface of the water, just like diamonds in the light. And they sparkle, 
and they shine so brightly. The ocean is so vast and you are so small. You start to walk towards the sea, feeling the hot sand beneath your feet and in between your toes. And it feels warm and soft on your skin. You walk a few steps into the water and you stand there for a moment, feeling peaceful and so very calm, so very relaxed in the water. You take a few more steps and the water is up to your waist now. And you move your hands back and forth in the water. And the water is so clear, you can see the sand below where your feet are. Suddenly, you realise with astonishment that you are breathing under the water and you are amazed. You are beneath the sea. You decide to swim around under the waves and you feel delighted and very happy at the same time. And the water is very clear and you can see a great deal. What can you see? Can you hear anything? There are lots of different types of fish swimming around you. They are all shapes and sizes and so many different colours. Do you recognise any of them? What else can you see? You realise that in the distance you can hear whales singing and it's getting closer to you. Don't be afraid. You are safe. You are loved. And you are protected. Always. You turn around in the water and see the most beautiful, kind face of a whale in front of you. And you are not afraid of him at all. He even looks as if he is smiling at you, which he is. You give him a gentle pat on his head. He is enormous, but he is ever so gentle, ever so kind. And he is as curious about you as you are of him. He stays very still beside you and he lets you touch him. What does he feel like? What colour is he? You can feel his skin under your hand. And you can feel the vibrations coming from his body. And you know you are not afraid and that he would never, ever hurt you. Can you feel him? He looks at you and he sees you. And you look into his beautiful, peaceful, big brown eyes. What do you see? What do you see in those lovely kind eyes? What do you feel? This is a truly lovely being and you can hear his thoughts. What is he saying to you?
you can feel his gentle beating heart and you can see into his beautiful soul a soul so peaceful so gentle so full of love just for you Is there anything you want to tell the whale? Anything at all? Whatever you tell him, he will never tell another soul, unless you want him to. He is here to help you. He is here to heal any worries you may have. This beautiful whale will be your new best friend if you want him to be. He only wants what is best for you. So go ahead. Talk to your new buddy. Talk to him now about anything you like. Because he is here just for you. It's now time for your whale to go home. So you wave goodbye to your whale as he swims off into the distance. And you thank him for being with you and helping you, listening to you. You can see the fish swimming around you again. And remember, any time you want, you can come back to your private island and swim out to visit with him, to visit with your whale again. Now, imagine yourself standing on a beautiful sandy beach and you can feel the warmth of the sand beneath your feet. 
and you can hear the gentle lapping of the ocean waves as it comes up onto the sand. Breathe in the cool, fresh ocean air and you feel so peaceful here. And the sun is high in the sky with just a few small fluffy clouds drifting by and there are birds flying overhead. Hear them as they sing to each other. It makes you smile with happiness. As you look out at the ocean waves, you notice an empty fishing boat a short distance ahead of you and you feel compelled to get in it and explore. You get inside the fishing boat and you decide to row. There's always time for a new adventure after all, always. As you begin to row, what can you see around you? How do you feel? Can you feel the soft ocean spray on your face? You notice a pretty little cave up ahead of you and decide to take a short break after all that rowing. You get out of the boat and catch a glimpse of a lady behind a rock. Wow, she is the most beautiful lady you have ever seen. And she has beautiful soft flowing hair and eyes that you can get lost in. Huge big eyes. Can you see? You walk towards her and you notice she has a tail. A beautiful, long, shiny, silver tail. Oh my! She is a mermaid. A real mermaid. Wow! She catches your eye and smiles lovingly at you. And you can instantly feel how beautiful she is on the inside as well as on the outside and you don't feel scared at all just excited so excited she calls you over to her the mermaid speaks and her voice is so soft and gentle to your ears you could listen to her forever her voice is so kind and so gentle and she tells you she is even more excited to see you than you are to see her. She tells you she loves company but she stays away from people as she doesn't want to scare them. She asks you if you would like to visit her magical underwater palace. How could you refuse? A real palace underwater? You take the beautiful mermaid by the hand and dive under the water with her. And you are amazed when you realize that you can breathe under water. You can breathe under water. Wow. The mermaid has used her magical powers to allow you to breathe under the ocean. That is so cool. Take a look at all the beautiful underwater fish. All the beautiful colours. Can you see them? What else can you see?
You arrive at the palace and are simply lost for words. What an amazing place. You've never seen anything like it before. There is so much life here, so many colors, so many treasures all around. What can you see? What does the palace look like? The mermaid tells you to take a look around the palace and that you can choose anything that you would like to take back home with you as a gift from her. Anything you like. Go on, take a look. Have you chosen your gift? What is it? Can it help you with something back home? You realize you haven't spent much time talking to your mermaid. So she takes you into her own private room so you can have a nice chat together. What is her room like? Is it like your room? You have so many questions for her, but you realize you don't even know her name. So you ask her, what is your name? Maybe you can take this opportunity to ask her for some advice or wisdom about anything that may be on your mind. She wants to help you, you know.
now it's time to come back home and the mermaid takes you by the hand and in lightning speed you are back to the beach again you turn around and she is waving to you with her tail in the air wow what an adventure what an amazing creature and you just met her you feel so happy now so at peace so calm and you feel just like giving a huge hug to everyone in the whole world but just remember you can come back here to speak to your mermaid anytime you wish this is a place where you are always safe you are always loved and you are always protected now imagine yourself standing on a beautiful beach with the most glorious white sand and you can hear the calming sounds of the ocean and you can hear the waves as they gently come into the shore can you hear them? can you hear those lovely waves? as you listen to the waves breathe in deeply and slowly breathe out again breathe in deeply and slowly breathe out one more time breathe in deeply and slowly breathe out and you've been breathing in cool refreshing air and every time you hear the waves breaking on the shore you are becoming more and more relaxed each and every time You look around the beautiful beach and you notice a small rowing boat just sitting on the sand near the water. So you decide to walk over to the boat, step inside it. You reach for the oars and you pick them up. You sit down and you start to row and you pull those oars and you push them pulling and pushing and your little boat moves along so you row for a little bit and then you stop you bring the oars back into the boat so that they don't float away and you notice a lovely soft cushion lying on the seat next to you you didn't see it before so you take the cushion and decide to lie down in the boat and just look up at the sky you put the cushion under your head and get all nice and comfortable 
and you feel your little rowing boat just bobbing along on the gentle waves just gently swaying in the water it's like the boat is trying to lull you to sleep and it feels so nice so peaceful and so very calming can you feel the waves underneath the boat making your little boat just sway kind of like a hammock really The sound of the ocean is so very calming and so very peaceful and you feel warm and safe and the sun is shining high up in the sky just twinkling away and you can feel every muscle in your body starting to relax more and more you look up at the white fluffy clouds as they pass by and as you do you start to see different shapes in the clouds you see your favorite animal can you see it And you can see people in the clouds too, just drifting by. And they look so funny to you. You can even see some of your friends playing games in the sky. How strange. You keep looking up and as you do, you can see two seagulls and they're flying past calling to each other with that strange loud sound that they make can you hear them can you hear them calling out to each other I'm sure you can You feel the little rowboat gently floating on the ocean waves and you feel so peaceful and so very happy. Allow the sounds of the waves to bring you peace, to take all of your worries away, all of the thoughts that were buzzing around in your head. Well, they've gone quiet now. And you're not really thinking about anything at all. Just watching the clouds drift on by and listening to the sounds of the ocean waves. As you lay there, you hear a gentle splashing sound rather close to your little boat. So you lift your head to have a look and see. And what you do see is a little family of dolphins 
swimming very close to you. And one of them even pops his beautiful head right up onto the side of your boat. And you look deep into his magnificent eyes and see pure love shining back at you. Very gently, you reach out your hand and he lets you stroke his nose and it feels all rubbery and soft but ever so smooth. The dolphin looks at you and you look right back at him and you know what a splendid, wonderful creature this dolphin really is and he's so wise so very wise the beautiful dolphin gives you a little wink with his amazing eye and you didn't know that dolphins could blink then he dives back beneath the ocean waves the little family of dolphins decide to put on a show for you and they leap high up out of the water and come down with an enormous splash first one dolphin then another then another and then another the water splashes over you and you laugh out loud you watch the dolphins and your heart sings with joy you feel so very happy so just enjoy being with the dolphins for just a little while dolphins 
have to go now. But each one of them come up to your little boat and lay their beautiful heads on the side of the boat for you to stroke. And you do. And then, as one, they all leap up into the air and then gracefully dive back beneath the ocean waves. You lay your head back down on your cushion, feeling very happy and so very grateful that you have got to watch the dolphins for just a little while. So breathe in deeply, filling your lungs with the wonderful, fresh, clean air. And your mind gently begins to drift into a lovely, comfortable silence, letting all thoughts just pass on by. And any thoughts you do have, you just watch them just drift away. Breathe deeply as you allow the sounds of the magnificent ocean to wash all over you. Can you hear the gentle sounds of those beautiful waves? So peaceful. Breathe in deeply. Breathe in slowly and gently. And breathe out. And you are very sleepy now. So tired. So tired after your busy day. So sleepy. Five. Feel yourself going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Four. So peaceful, so calm, and so very relaxed. Three. With each passing wave, your body becomes lighter and lighter. Two. So relaxed, so peaceful, so very calm. One. You have become like the waves, at one with the ocean. So just listen to the sounds of the beautiful, deep blue ocean and rest.